Just a few months ago, uh, President Obama told Detroit, we, we will not allow you we, you know, to go bankrupt. Uh, we, we, that will not be permitted, and, and, and implying that there will be a, a federal response into, to, to make it unnecessary or, or, or implicit in that as a bailout. Now, you guys are the ones in charge of the purse strings. Will, uh, whose will will prevail here, yours or Obama's? I say over my dead body, you know, because we're not going to bail out Detroit. We don't have the money. Who's going to bail out the United States if we bail out Detroit? I don't wish any harm or ill feelings towards people in Detroit. In fact, I want what's best for Detroit, and what's best for Detroit is a quick, abrupt bankruptcy and new management. In bankruptcy, you get one of the advantages to bankruptcy is you get to wipe out your old debt. And it is kind of a good thing. It isn't really a harsh thing. We don't put people in jail for debt anymore, and we um, allow people to, to, to start a new life. We, we wipe out all of Detroit's debt. Now, it means nobody will loan them money for a while because they have no credit rating. Yeah, but who and pays their pensions? Yeah, well, that's going to be a problem. I mean, it will be a problem. But it, it, I don't see that the rest of us should pay for their unwise decisions. We, we did for General Motors. Yeah, I don't think that was a good idea either. Look at California. California's got over 100,000 people collecting a pension of over $100,000 a year. Now, if in bankruptcy there is some money and there will be some revenue coming in, why don't we say to this, if you've got people getting pensions of over $100,000 a year and nobody in the private sector is getting that, maybe we can restore some of the taxpayers of Michigan or Detroit can restore some of their pensions, but it's not the obligation of people who live in Iowa to pay for the extravagances of people who live in Detroit.